So this is a simple Spring Boot application I wrote in Spring Boot and I'm running it locally on my system right now and it's working perfectly. The question is how do we create a DevOps pipeline to transfer this application from my local system to GitHub and from GitHub to Heroku and it runs in the cloud all for free. That is what I'm going to be showing you how to do. And that is what DevOps is all about. How do you deploy your application through a pipeline from production where you are from development system to source control in this case you are using github to the production in this case it's going to be heroku everything is going to be free now this application running on my local system you can see is running on port 8080 students get all but if i go to my heroku uh, dashboard you'll see that we have this application as well if i click on it i can actually browse it as well and be able to see so if i go to so i could say open up so that's what i'm going to say you say open up yes so the app application opens up as you can see everything works so far if i browse to the directory let me just copy it from uh, from the local directory if i browse click from the local directory let me just copy it and paste here Control v you can see that we have the same student list that we have in the local system so let me show you how to do this in a few minutes so let me close everything close and maybe close as well so let me stop this from running now the step-by-step -step way of doing it is placed is here in my website everything is here step by step for you to follow uh, no step skips and it's very 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 easy so if you are joining me for the first time hit on the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel and if you have any challenges following this lesson, also leave me a comment below uh, so that I can give you the necessary assistance you need. If you want this particular time leap project that I created, you can also see the link in the, in the description box. You'll see a link to this very uh, file. You'll be able to use it if you want. Just download it and just run it on your, on your system and be able to follow along in this tutorial. So let's go ahead to get started. I'm going to clear my console at this point. So we are going to follow the steps. I want to do it step by step so that we can actually do it together. So there's some prerequisites you need to have. One, you must have a Spring Boot application that you want to deploy. In this case, you can use mine. Just go to my GitHub repository, check the link in the description box. You'll get it and then use it on your, on your, on your, on your, on your local system. You also need a github account for instance if i go to github.com let me just uh, open github.com if you don't have a github account you can create one so let me show you my github repository you can go there and get free codes but there are a few actually so this is the time lift app we are working with currently and this is my profile kind on the genius as you as you know so now there's one prerequisite the second prerequisite is that you need heroku you need heroku account heroku account is free you also go to heroku.com and create a free account so i'm going to go to heroku.com and in this case simply sign up create a new account in heroku it's free for now for learning purposes for demo purposes it's free all right, so at this point, I'm going to go to go back to Spring Boot and let me open the step-by-step -step page. I recommend you open this page and keep it open and be able to follow the step-by-step. -step. So what we are going to do now is to push our application from our local system to GitHub, then from GitHub to Heroku. But the first thing we are going to do, let's create, let's put this application in GitHub for now. Granted, I have it already in GitHub, but I'm going to create a different repository to place it in this case so that you'll be able to follow along in this step by step. So I'm going to go to GitHub at, GitHub at this time and I'm going to create a new repository. I'm going to go to repositories and actually, yeah, I'm going to click on new. So I'm just going to call it DevOps. That's the name of this repository, DevOps, or let's call it DevOps uh, repo. Okay, DevOps repo, that's the name of the repository. And it's public, it's fine. So create a repository. 
So going back to the next step, the next step says in Spring Toolsuit, right click on your project and select Show in Local Terminal and select Git Bash. So if we go back to Spring Boot at this time, uh, if I go to the project and right click on it, and I say Show in Local Terminal and select Git Bash, all right? So if you do that, you, it opens up the Git Bash uh, command line interface. It's, like, it's more like a, a Linux a kind of environment where you can type in commands to be able to execute uh, git commands to, to, to perform different operations. So if you actually don't see Git Bash, then go, go simply download Git Bash or click on this link here, Git Bash. It simply downloads down to your local system and then you can install it. After installing it, restart Spring Tool Suite and then repeat the same process at this time. So the first thing we want to do is to do git init. So git init simply prepares your application to be able to uh, be part of source control, all right, or version control. So git init, uh, okay, reinitializing existing repository because we already have existing local repository. So the, I'm going to say git, the next thing is git add. So the, what I did now is to create a local repository. The next thing I'm going to do is to add all these files, all my project files into a local repository. And to do that, you simply say git add star, or uh, git add uh, dot. So you have, you have it there on my, in the step-by-step -step here. Step six says commit the file from your local work workspace to the local git repository. It's simply a command that needs to be done. So we now take step six. In step six, we are going to now commit, prepare the files for being, for, uh, for, to be able to commit it. We are going to run git commit uh, command. So I'm going to say uh, git commit and put a message, optional message minus m that says our first commit, right? So at this point, uh, the files will be committed to the local Git um, repository, more like it's packaged to be able to be deployed or to be able to be pushed to GitHub. All right, so the next thing is now step seven. We are going to go to GitHub and copy the remote repository URL, right? We are going to go to GitHub and copy the, the remote repository URL. To do that, I'm going to go to GitHub. The new repository we created, which we call Devo, uh, DevOps repo. This is the URL, simply copy it by clicking on this button here. I've copied it to the clipboard. Step eight now says add the remote repository URL you copied and verify the remote repository uh, and use the command below. So first I'm going to add it and then we verify it. So the first thing I'm going to so do is git remotes add. Now origin is like a name of the repository you want to use, uh, but you, it's a name you choose. Now you can actually change it. So I'm going to say my origin and paste the repository you copy. I'm going to just paste it at this point, right? So. I'll, this is step eight we are following at this time, enter. So we've added a remote repository. We've told Spring Boot, local uh, Spring Boot, that there is a remote repository that we need to upload files to. Now let's verify this repository by saying git remote minus v for verify. And it did a fetch and it also did a push. Everything, is, everything works fine. Step nine says, now we can now push file to the remote repository in GitHub. And I'm going to say git push origin master. So what happens? So in this case, my origin, make no mistake. So it's the same name I'm going to use, my origin master, right? All right, so this now is going to transfer all this file from our local system up to GitHub and then we are going to check that these files actually are transferred to GitHub. So I'm going to run this command at this time. Seems it takes a couple of seconds to complete. So let's just wait. Yes, so 
It seems everything worked perfectly. It transferred our files to the remote repository. At this point, I'm going to go to GitHub, uh, to GitHub to check that repository to see if there are files that have been populated in it. I'm going to simply click on the name of the repository and you can see that the files are there. There are new files inside that repository, meaning that the push works. So in this case now, we've completed the first part of this tutorial, sending our files from local uh, Spring Boot to GitHub. So the next thing we want to do now is to deploy from, from GitHub to Heroku. And that is the interesting part because it seems it's difficult, but it's really easier than the what we've done now. So I'm going to go to Heroku. And if you go to Heroku, you'll see the apps you already have. If you don't have an app, no problem. You'll see this button that says new. All right, let's make sure we are following the steps. So it says log into your account and create an app. So log into my account and say new and say new, create new app, as you can see right here. I'm going to give it a name, the same name as the name of the repository, but this is optional. You can give it any other name you want. So I'm going to say DevOps. There is a, restri a restriction on the name of the app that uh, is going to be lowercase. Now DevOps demo does, DevOps demo does not ex uh, exist already. I'm going to say DevOps demo uh, one, DevOps demo one, all right. Um, or DevOps demo one, okay, that's fine. So region United States is okay. I mean, Europe, okay, let me just select Europe because that's where I am and say create app. It takes a few seconds and it quickly creates the app. So we've created this app on Heroku. The next step we are going to follow says um okay so in the deployment method click on github all right so now in this app we created i'm going to kind of enlarge the screen okay so you can see deployment method right here we are going to select github we have heroku git we have github we have container registry so let's use github if you click on github it's actually going to tell you to specify the name of the repository in github that contains the file you want to deploy to heroku so the next thing i'm going to now do is to click on, on um is to enter the name of the repository and then search for it so i'm going to say devops devops repo okay so i'm going to search for it okay and it finds a devops repo and i'm going to just click on connect okay so at this point it connects uh perfectly so you can see master and you can see uh deploy branch the next thing you're gonna do now um it's like i'm being too fast but the steps are here provided the next thing we are going to do now is to deploy branch we are going to click on deploy branch so when you click on deploy branch it's actually going to deploy the application uh you need to wait for some time as you can see the deployment is running uh, so it's building the application after building is going to then deploy it. so let's see if it goes successfully after deploying we'll be able to now uh, size this application in real time all right so uh So you can see deployed to Heroku. So it's going to give us a button that says view. So let's wait for a second. So you saying loading output. So everything completed successfully deployed to Heroku. So I'm going to click on view. If I click on view now, it goes to the home page of my application and boom, everything worked perfectly. Uh, now I'm going to assess the same page I assessed on my local, on my local um, application so i'm going to say students slash get all so you can see that this is the same page that we have we run locally that work perfectly now if you are building an application and it's in production you actually need to pay to deploy to a secure uh hosting um a hosting uh, space but in this case this is for learning so you can assess this you can use it 
uh, any way you want. If you are joining me for the first time, subscribe by hitting on the subscribe button, share this video around if it's been informative for you, and also leave me a comment to let me know how you feel or if you have any challenges. I remain kind on the Tech Pro, and I'm always there for you.